like that he's doing that for a good cause. And speaking of good cause, Food and Folly, it's that time of year. It's tomorrow night, 6.30 to 9.30. This is something that goes on every year for UCP. And Becky's from Briquette's Steakhouse. You're going to be there tomorrow night. Absolutely. You're cooking some wings, but first, you're going to do it here on Studio Done. Yes, absolutely. First, I'm going to show you um, how we season the wings. And I brought all the ingredients that go with our poultry seasoning. We got a little bit of uh, brown sugar and okay. then some sea salt. Mm -hmm. A little Italian seasoning as well, um, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of black pepper as well. And then you mix all that up. And this is good to, um, to keep for a while. So I know I brought a lot of it with you, but this is usually what we do in the restaurant. You just mix it all together and then season the wings. And um, I put some in a shaker I already made up. And what you want to do is before you put them on the grill, you want to season them really, really well. Because a lot of it's going to fall off when you put it on the grill. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you coat each one really well, both sides, of course. Okay. You want the seasoning on both sides. Yeah. And, um, and then you're going to put it on a grill. And... Um, it's going to be on a, a low temperature because you want them to cook for a while. Like our wings are the jumbo wings. Usually the wings that you get in the store are a little bit smaller than this, so you want to cook those for about 30 minutes. Ours cook for about 45. On a low heat grill, it's about 275 to 350 degrees. Okay. And you want to make sure you have an even heat. And then definitely cover the lid. And then um, turn them over about every 5 to 10 minutes or so. And then that way it will give a nice uh, crisp coating over the, the top of the wings. And then the inside still stays moist as well. All right. Great for all the football games. Yes, absolutely. Football parties and games. And a good thing about this, too, is if, um, you're, if you get rained out for your party, you can also stick these in the oven as well. And where is Briquette Steakhouse? We are located on Schillinger Road, um, right in front of the Target area, across the street from Home Depot okay. um, in West Mobile. We um, opened up in February. My husband and I have been in the business for a while, and we decided to do it on our own. Oh, great. And, um, yeah, we're right there in, in the West Mobile area. Wonderful. And as I mentioned, tomorrow night, Food and Folly, United Cerebral Palsy, is who this event is going to benefit. And you're going to be competing yes. against 14 other restaurants there. And you're going to be cooking some wings tomorrow night? Yes, we are. We're doing the wings and our strawberry salad and as well as some of our ribeye steaks as well. Sounds good. Now if you've never been to Food and Folly, again, wonderful event to benefit UCP. You get to go and you get to taste food from 15 different restaurants tomorrow night from 6.30 to 9.30. You vote on your favorites. So it's a big competition. Not only is there a lot of great food, there are also going to be live music, there are also going to be performances, a silent auction, a lot of great things going on. And you can buy single tickets for $35 a person, $60 for couples. A wonderful event. And we have that information we just showed on the screen on our website along with this restaurant. I mean, along with this <laughs> recipe. <laughs> oh, sometimes I talk backwards, forwards, sideways. It doesn't matter. It's Wednesday, right? right? We'll have the recipe and that information on our website. So when we come back, what are we going to do next with the wings? Well, when we come back, we're going to show you after you take them off the grill, we're going to make our wing sauce and then show you how to prepare it from there. Okay, can't wait to do that. Be in just a few minutes. All right, we are back in the kitchen with Brecky, Brecky, <laughs> Briquette's Steakhouse, and her name is Becky. That's where the confusion was. And Gina from UCP's Food and Folly. Good to see you both. Thanks thank you, thank you so much for being here. Now, we started to work a little bit. What did we do in our last segment which, with cooking here? Last segment, we made uh, the seasoning for the wings mm -hmm. and, um, and coated those really well. Talked about how you put them on the grill or in the oven as well. And then now we're going to mix up the wing sauce. Uh, uh, like when your wings are on the grill or in the oven, you can do this in, in between. All right. So the wing sauce, and this looks fantastic. Tell mm -hmm. the folks which ingredients we have here and what All we're right. going to do. We've got um, three, three fourths cups of melted butter. Here and then we use a Texas Pete hot sauce. That's our favorite. Also, we have a three-fourths cup of honey. Man, you got some. You got some. A little sweet. bit of. You got some little bit of sweet. In there. Yeah, it's a really nice flavor. A little bit of sweetness. A little bit of smoky hotness. They got a red wine vinegar. A little bit of black pepper. And then some perbica as well. Now, is this an indication of what's on the menu at Briquette's Steakhouse? What do we all uh, have have our choices for when we go to Briquette's? Well, certainly we uh, specialize in our hand-cut steaks as well. Um, we, my husband is 
pretty much constantly in the cooler uh, cutting up the meat. Um, but we also have a little bit of everything for people, chicken dishes, pasta, salads, um, a little bit of everything. We have a great uh, uh, kids menu as well, so we're very family friendly. And we tried to make it an atmosphere where you can feel comfortable coming in in your jeans and a t-shirt or for a date night with your husband. Very cool mm -hmm. and perfect location as well, right on Schillinger Road. Now you guys are participating in a big event, UCP's Food and Folly. Gina is here to tell us all about that. Gina, when is this taking place? It is tomorrow night, actually, at Fort Whiting, and it starts at 6.30. Um, it's really fun, and the premise of this event is basically it celebrates Mobile, what Mobile does best. It's Mardi Gras themed because we do Mardi Gras right. That is correct. And we do food right, too. So um, we have the ever-popular Restaurant Wars. We have 16 contestants, so 16 restaurants and caterers will be, in, will be participating. And the public in attendance gets to vote. So what they do is they come in, they'll get a Mardi Gras bead at the door, and that's how they vote. They'll go around and ah. sample everyone's dish. And we ask the restaurants to just cook what describes them, what what is them and the public will go and sample and then vote for their favorite and I just wanted to read a list real quick of who we have um, just so okay. everybody knows Spotted Tea, Bike Shop, Honey Baked Ham Catering, Marble Slab Creamery, Briquettes, Conundrums, Southern Decadence, Mediterranean Sandwich Company, Little House Midtown, Ashland Pub, Kitchen on George, Flower Girls Bakery who won last year, uh, Benjamin's, Naaman's Catering, Chef Robin Company and the Yak Cadmandu Kitchen. Man that's got to be a tough job to go there and eat the best Best of the best. That, I mean, that's got to be really it's tough. It's hard, but somebody's yeah. got to do it. It's hard work. <laughs> somebody's got to do it. That could be you. Where do they get their tickets, or can they just show up? You can get them at the door. We encourage you to get them before, just in case we sell out, which okay. um, you can call the number, 479-4900. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the UCP office. They are available at the office, or you can get them at the door. All right. Sounds fantastic. So go check that out tomorrow night. We're going to finish these wings up when we come back in just a little while, guys. Food and Folly is such a wonderful event, so yep. if you don't have plans, definitely want to go out to that. Sure do. And Welcome back. Nice to have you with us here on Studio 10 this Wednesday morning. Things are smelling so good here. Actually, all over the studio. That's what mm -hmm. I was just telling Becky and Gina. You can smell this even as you walk into the newsroom. Wings, Briquette Steakhouse. That's what Becky has been working on, and they smell fabulous. So remind everybody what you put in your sauce to make them smell so good. Well, we um, use a little bit of melted butter, some honey gives it a little sweetness, uh, Texas peat, and um, some cayenne pepper and black pepper, and then a little red wine vinegar. And that um, all that together gives it a nice smoky, but a little sweet flavor and a little kick to it as well. Okay, so what's left? So all we have to do, basically, um, I pulled these out of the oven, which you can do in the oven, or of course we do them on our grill and then all that's left really is you take them in the sauce that you've already prepared and make sure they're, they're nice and covered Mm -hmm. with the sauce and then we just plated it with some uh, traditional wing fixings the celery and the carrots and a little bit of ranch but you honestly really don't even need that except for your veggies because the the sauce is so fantastic and it's one of our um, most popular appetizers that we sell at the restaurant but of course like I said we have so many other things to choose from as well a little bit of something for everyone. And you guys are right off Schillinger Road. Yes, right right in front of uh, Target in that shopping area. There's like AT&T's in there and uh, Smoothie King, Baskin Robbins. So you can get uh, um, come get some steak and wings and then go get something sweet as well. And you'll be cooking tomorrow night, cooking some wings actually, yes. at Food and Folly. And it's yes. all to benefit UCP. So tell us about the event. Well, um, as I said earlier, it's a Mardi Gras themed, mm -hmm. and when um, people come to the door and get their ticket, which is 35 a person, 60 for a couple, they'll get their Mardi Gras bead, they'll get to go around, taste all the restaurants, vote. Uh, we have a wine grab, which I like to describe as kind of like when you were a kid and you had uh, you asked your mom for a dollar and you got the brown paper sack because you didn't know what was in it, but you knew it was something fun. Uh -huh. It's like that, but for adults and with wine. Very so nice. you don't know what you're getting, but it could be a really nice expensive bottle of wine or you could go home with some Thunderbird and Mad Dog. <laughs> Mad so, Dog yeah. 2020. Yeah. That's so right. It's, it's a gamble, but it's a lot of fun. We have a huge silent auction. We have some incredible um, dancers in the community that are going to come and do some dance performances. Uh -huh. um, just a lot of fun. Some live music. And again, benefiting a wonderful cause. United Cerebral Palsy, that's right. Now, how is the money raised from this event going to help you guys out? 
The money from this event and all UCP events go to the programs and services at United Cerebral Palsy. What we do is we um, provide services to over 700 families throughout South and Central Alabama. And our services start in infancy and continue through adult adulthood. And a lot of people think that we just serve people with cerebral palsy and we don't. We, have, we serve anyone with disability, any kind of disability. Wonderful group. So you can support them tomorrow night, Food and Folly, 6.30 to 9.30, and it's going to be out at Fort Whiting. Yes. At the Armory off South Broad Street. We'll have all that information and this recipe on Fox10TV.com. It's on the Studio 10 page. In fact, it's already there. So you can make these for lunch if you want to and make your plans to go out to Food and Folly and support UCP tomorrow night.